Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I look like a bit of a mess today. I'm very aware of that. Um, if you watched my last video, I talked about how we got home from our vacation and I had pneumonia. Still just getting over that. It's been pretty rough. Um, Andrew actually ran to Walmart. Well, I ordered the groceries. I made a meal plan. First time since coming home, I thought I need to make a meal plan. Um, you know, make a grocery list, order groceries, all that. And then Andrew ran out and grabbed the groceries for me. And he got home and he was like, do you want to film a grocery haul? And I was like, I was totally not planning on it because, I mean, just look at me. I was not planning on being on camera today. Um, and then I thought, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna just film a grocery haul. So here is um, a grocery haul for the week. We we just had Wesley's birthday a few days ago. We have not celebrated it yet, so tomorrow's the day. We're celebrating Wesley's sixth birthday, and each time one of our kids has a birthday, they get to pick breakfast, lunch, and supper for the day. So as we go along, I'll show you what some of the items I bought. Wait a second, sorry. Sometimes as I start filming, I realize I'm missing something. I ordered spinach. Why is there no spinach? Okay, everything else looked right, but I had like a pasta dish on the meal plan for this next week with tomato sauce and ground beef and spinach, and I don't have spinach. Um, all right, well, I'll show you what else I got today. First off, just a package of balloons, not groceries, but um, we're gonna blow up some balloons to decorate for Wesley's birthday. Also, we bought a big poster board. The kids are, Andrew actually just ran out right now with, uh, with Wesley for his swimming lesson. So we also got a big poster, poster board. The kids are going to write birthday messages and stuff, and that will just be really easy birthday decor. Um, for Wesley's cake, he wanted a basketball cake. So we bought um, cake mix, you'll see. And then we were thinking about how to do the basketball shape. And I really wanted to find shoestring licorice. Do you remember, like when I was a little kid, it was so easy to find the shoestring licorice. And we thought if we could find black shoestring licorice, that would be perfect. Couldn't find it at Walmart, couldn't find it at the dollar store. So we're gonna improvise. Andrew said he's taking over and doing the cake. So we'll see how that turns out. And he's just gonna, like chop these up, I guess, and make make the, you know, the pattern for the basketball. We'll see how that how that works. We are really low on meat. No meat was on sale, and I can see why people are starting to just not eat as much meat because it's so expensive. But I did get a package of ground beef as well as a package of pork chops. This right here is Wesley's choice for his birthday breakfast, so that's going to be tomorrow's breakfast. I got olive oil. Um, their cake mixes, they're always like a malty deal, so it was three for six dollars. So I bought, he wanted a lemon cake for his, for his birthday cake, and so I bought two lemon cakes, one vanilla cake. We do have a couple more birthdays coming up before the end of the year here, so I think those will all get used up. We also are basically out of cereal coming home from our trip here, so I did get a bag of Honey Nut Cheerios, bag of Mini Wheats, obviously the, the store brand versions, a couple cucumbers, onions were on for less than a dollar for the three pound bag, so I got three bags of onions, a bunch of bananas here, um, these oranges were on sale, so I got a couple packages of those, celery, sugar snap peas, that's what I got for produce. We are like out of bagels, we're out of buns and bread. I feel like we've had to be a little bit creative the past few days in our meal making. Yes, I'm going to keep coming back to us getting home and me being sick, but I feel like it has to be said because it goes along with this story. Usually I'm making sourdough bread and I have not touched my sourdough since getting home a week ago. So I'm thinking tonight I'm going to feed it and maybe start making bread tomorrow, but I just have had absolutely no energy for it. So I did buy like more breads and stuff just so we have something to eat for, you know, lunches and, and all that. So I did get a couple packages of cheese bagels, cinnamon raisin bagels, and everything bagels. Um, the kids have recently discovered that they really enjoy marmalade. 
I also bought some jam and whenever I make cake, specifically lemon cake, but really any cake, uh, we really enjoy putting jam as the filling in between the two layers. Then we do icing on the top, but jam is such a nice filling. We're running low on mustard. We are getting into soup season. I did make chili one day last week and we finished our diced tomatoes and we have no more tomato paste. So I bought some of those. Uh, with it being Canadian Thanksgiving for us this weekend. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, pure pumpkin, canned pumpkin was on sale. And yes, I bought four cans because I love making pumpkin pie and pumpkin bread and all the yummy pumpkin treats. Uh, here's the three loaves of bread I bought, which I never buy, but you know, this, that's what we're doing right now. Wesley requested hot dogs for his birthday supper and popcorn. I was like, do you want popcorn or chips? He's like, I want popcorn. I said, okay, like popcorn from the store. He said, nope, the popcorn that mom makes. So that's what we're doing. Hot dogs and popcorn, as well as a bunch of raw veggies for his birthday dinner. These are the hot dogs we got. And then for lunch, he wanted pita pizzas. So I have mozzarella cheese in the fridge already. I have pepperoni, but I just bought the naan bread to make those. I got a couple cartons of cream whipping cream, sour cream, cream cheese, three bags of milk. Uh, for sandwich meat, they have these on always. I think it's always three for $9. So one Montreal smoked meat, two packages of ham, one package of tortillas, and I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, supporting my channel and encouraging me. I really appreciate you guys and we'll hope to be back to normal uploads soon. But thank you for watching today. See you next time.